Hi, in this video we're going to go over new quizzes, which is the quiz engine you should be using. Remember that classic quizzes will be deprecated in the not too distant future. And so if you're new to Canvas, it just makes sense to start right off with new quizzes. Well, how do you uh, create a new quiz? Well, there's like with many things, there's usually many ways to do the same task. Let me show you three ways you can create a new quiz. First, you can go to Modules, pick your module, and add. Okay, let me show you that what I did. So I'm going to add a quiz to Module 1. I do that by clicking the plus button in the title bar of Module 1. In the drop down, I'll select Quiz. I'll do Create a Quiz. And then here it gives me the option of the quiz engine. This is a little bit of a new um, uh, interface for this. So um, this is what it is now. It may change in the near future. You can give the quiz a name, new quiz demo. You can choose what assignment group it should be in and the indentation. We don't really need to do an indentation and add the item. Now, here's this new quiz demo. You'll note these icons are different. This quiz that comes in the template is a classic quiz. Pretty soon, I'm going to go in and edit the template and just take that quiz out of there. Because if uh, classic quizzes is going away, we don't really need to be developing a whole lot of those right now. But the classic quiz has this empty rocket icon, and the new quiz has this uh, black rocket icon. So to start building the quiz, I could click on it. It will give me the option to say how many points it's worth. Um, I'm going to say it's going to be worth 100 points. Assign it to everyone. Give it a due date. Now... Um, if you're ready to build it, you can go ahead and build. If you're not ready to build it, save it, leave it as a placeholder. You can come back to it later. Okay, so that was way number one. Add a new quiz to a module. Here's way number two. Go to quizzes. Okay, then at, click the plus quiz button. And again, it gives you the option of classic or new quizzes. I'll pick new quizzes and submit. And then I have the same window new quit quiz demo 2 yeah. okay again 100 points i want to put it in the quizzes uh grade bucket quizzes assignment group um, and then i have the option of displaying the grade as points percentage complete and incomplete letter grade don't you can worry with that if you want to uh, assign to everyone do date and again when you're ready you can build it if you're not quite ready just save it and come back and build it later way number three this one's a little bit more complicated you probably won't want to do it this way um, click plus assign I'm in the assignments index I'm going to click plus assignment I'm going to call this new quiz demo three and put it in the quizzes uh, assignment group. And here, this is going to be an external tool. So we have these submission types, no submission. If they're like for me, I grade performances and the students don't really submit anything. It's just an event on paper. They print it out hand it in, you grade it, hand it back, recording the grade in the grade book. Online, you might think that this is where you would do a new quiz from a new assignment, but you would be wrong. It is an external tool. And to find that external tool, click Find. And then you're scrolling looking for Quizzes 2. Select. Um, once you save it, when you come back to it, actually I think it kicks you right into the builder. So that's how you can begin building this new quiz. Return to get out of the quiz builder, and it should shoot me back to, and it does. So 
here are the three that I created. New quiz demo, new quiz demo two, and new quiz demo three. Three ways to do it. Now let's start building. So when I click on this quiz, I can come in and edit the options. This used to be really hard to do. They fixed the workflow here. Good on them. Um, but all my details are correct. I just need to build this quiz. So I'll click build. And here we are in the quiz builder. So we have the title of the quiz. There are some overall instructions, global instructions. So here you might put in, this is a timed quiz. If it's a timed quiz, there are 10 questions and you have 30 minutes to complete. You may only take this quiz one time. Please read the questions carefully and choose and follow instructions. Okay, so this is general overview of what's going to happen in the quiz. I'll click done. All right. Now I want to create a question. So I'll do that by clicking this plus button and that will add a new question. And I can choose from these one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve 12 types. Um, so let's just go through them. Uh, probably won't go through all of them, but I'll go through a lot of them. So categorization, this is a great uh, question title. This is so you can identify it. Don't give away any answers in the question title. So I'm going to say um, Permi categorization. And here the question stem is the overall instruction. Sometimes it's the actual question, but here it's just the instructions for the question. I'm going to say place each item in the correct category. Be careful. There are a few items that don't belong in any of the categories. And then you start creating your category. So category one, I'm going to call this uh, Permi analyses. Types of, of permaculture analyses. And then the types of analyses are input, output, um, zone, sector, um, that'll work for now. Category two, let's do elements in a design. I'll put earthworks, um, pathways, structures, plants, animals. Okay, let me add a category. Let's do um, permaculture tools. Shovel. Trowel. I don't know if I spelled that right. Uh, level. Okay, now I'm going to add some distractors. These are things that don't go anywhere. So here I'm going to put in um, screwdriver. That's kind of mean. I'll put it in. Here I'm going to put in. Um, Fuel consumption, oh, that is kind of, let's do it's 
it's something else that's a distractor. Edit this out and post. Printer. Okay. All right. This is going to be worth 10 points. Now, here's the thing with these, and I'll, I'll demo it whenever we do the student view and grade it. So now I'm done with that. Oh, got to get rid of that answer because it can't be blank. Got to get rid of that answer because it can't be blank. And done. All right, let's do question number two. I click the blue plus button. Let's look at a matching uh, matching terms. Please match the term with the correct definition. Um, let's say nitrogen fixer, a plant that makes nitrogen available to surrounding plants. Let's do bioaccumulator, a plant that makes minerals and other nutrients available to surrounding plants. Let's do uh, a tractor. Plants that bring in beneficial insects. And let's do, um, I don't know that it has a name. Let's call it, oh, let's just stop there. We'll just do those three. It's just a demo anyway. I'm not going to add any distractors. Distractors. I'm not going to shuffle the questions. I'm not going to align to an outcome. Item banking. Now, I can add my items to a bank. So after I've created a question, if I think I might want to use that question again next year in a different quiz, or if I want to use that question again in the final exam when this was earlier in the year, I can create a bank, a new item bank, call it... Permi quiz questions, add it, and now that is um, part of, whoops, banked item. Okay, now once you do that, you can no longer edit it in the quiz, you have to edit it in the bank. So if you click on it, you have to edit in bank, and then it comes up over here and you edit it and you're done. So the, it does create an extra step if you bank those items while you're building it. Um, let's do multiple choice. Uh, multi choice. Which of the following plants is a nitrogen fixer? Okay, so now this one that has the dot in it, whichever one has the dot in it is the correct answer. So I'm going to put a nitrogen fixing plant here. I'll do a mimosa tree. And down here, I'll do non nitrogen fixers. I'll do squash. I'll do um, tomato. And I'll do apple tree. Okay, if I wanted to add additional answers, I could. Um, additional options or additional answers, additional options. I don't want that. Very good. I might want to shuffle these choices so that they're not always one, two, three, or four. Um, that's always a good idea. You can bank it, give it some points, done. I didn't give this one any points. This one's just one point. I'm going to have to edit it. I'm going to have to edit it in the bank. I click on it, edit in the bank, and 
Okay. Oh no. I don't know how to change the number of points. Done. Hmm. I can't change the number of points, and I don't know why. Oh well. Let that be a lesson to you. All right, let's go on. Let's do another one. Let's do ordering. This is a new kind of, of item. This is, could be fun. Ordering. Um, what is the typical permaculture design process? First, last. And I'm just make these up. S uh, zone analysis input output analysis um, contour mapping succession planning layout that should probably be Layout should go before that. Installation. Um, monitoring and supporting. All right, that's enough. Okay, include the labels, that's good. Let's make this worth 10 points, and we're done. Let's add another kind of question. That was ordering essay question, that's pretty self-explanatory, but there are some fun things you can do in the prompt. So essay, what do you think about this YouTube video? What is the most striking permaculture item discussed? Because what we're doing here is actually in a modified rich content editor, I can... Oh no, I'm a liar. Well, I guess I could just put a link in there and they could watch it, but then that's not so good. I'm a liar. Uh, but what I've done is instead of what do you think about this picture? What is the most striking feature of this design? And then I could put in a, a picture. Browse. And I don't know what that is. We'll try it. It's a horrible picture, but it will do for now. I would go out and find a good picture that makes sense to use there. Rich content editor. If you want to let them have a spell check and a word count, that's fine too. Item banking, give it some points. Done. Uh, let's do another one. This is going to be a fill in the blank. Now this one, type a statement, select text, and press enter to create a new blank. Okay, so... The rain in Spain 
falls mainly on the planes. Do they need some swales? Okay, so I'm going to take this, hit enter. No. Type a statement, select text, and press enter to create a new blank. I'm not sure that worked. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the Help tab. I'm going to search the Canvas community. Oh, I want to search the Canvas guides. And I'm going to look in New Quizzes. Oh, they've changed this too. Canvas guides. I am a, an instructor, instructor guide. This will be in new quizzes. How do I create a fill in the blank question in new quizzes? Okay, we've done that. Type a statement, select test, press enter. So I type the statement. Signed in Philadelphia. And that's not working the way I want it to. Let's try it again. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plains. I'm thoroughly confused. Let's see if this works. We'll give it three points. Oh! <laughs> I was typing in the wrong place. Fill in the blanks of this famous quotation. Haha! -ha. Type a statement. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plains. Select this. Yes! Yes! All right, that's how it works. Now see, I learn something new every day. I hope you enjoyed seeing me struggle. All right, we gave it some points. It's done. Let's go on to the next kind of question type. We did fill in the blank hotspot. These are really cool. So hotspot. Where is the swale in this picture? Click on it. All right, so now I need to upload a, an image. So I know that I just put this on my desktop. There it is, open. And so now I need to draw the selection area that is the correct answer. So I'm gonna draw a polygon. There are, you can draw a square, but if I draw a square, it doesn't quite get the right answer. Uh, delete that, oh no, I did it again. 
you can draw an oval or you can draw a polygon I guess if you click something else so I'm gonna make this answer from here to there okay and double click to finish it and give it some points now if they click anywhere in that box that I drew they get the answer correct if they click anywhere outside of it they get it wrong uh, good deal all right that's good enough done let's do another kind of question multiple answer I don't even know what that is ah it's like multiple choice but there's a uh, select so multi answer select all that apply what are the nitrogen fixing plants so this would be a correct answer um, P and wolfberry and here we'll go with pear tree and here we'll go with blueberry okay I can shuffle those choices so they're always in a different order I like it going on five points done so you get the process and again you saw me struggle with one of these um, numeric and true or false of course all of those are fairly um, self-explanatory I don't need to build them really um, but the process if you run into problems generating one of these is go to the guides and look up how do I create a numeric question or how do I create an a stimulus I think this is just something they read and then they answer questions about it um, and that's the process okay so I'm gonna call this one done and we click return okay so now what I'm gonna do that was new quiz demo I need to add that to a module I think that was the one I created with the module new quiz demo I did I need to publish it so that the student can see it and now I'm going to pretend to be a student I take the student view I'm gonna go to modules I'm gonna go down here to the new quiz demo I'm going to take the quiz begin and this is what they see so categorization uh, level is a tool structure is an element plants are an element pathways are an element printer is nothing animals are an element input output is analysis earthworks is an element trowel is a tool sector is an analysis shovel is a tool zone is an analysis okay now I'm gonna get one wrong I'm gonna move one into the wrong spot so you can see what happens when it's graded boom I got it wrong okay match the term with the correct definition nitrogen fixer uh, and I uh, uh, bioaccumulator um, okay and a tractor there we go I'm gonna get this one wrong ah here's the ordering so typically you start with zone analysis and then this is much later you can usually go to input output analysis layouts much later monitoring and support is last concession planning is after layout I think that does it um, this is the essay question you will have to grade it the 
rain in Spain falls mainly on the, let me spell it wrong, see what happens. Where's the swale in this picture? I think it's right there. And I'm going to get one of these wrong. I'm going to go pear tree and wolfberry. Okay. Now, when the student submits it, they typically get uh, the graded response back. You can change that in settings. Uh, we'll need to look into those settings because this video is getting really long. You can see here that this question is worth 10 points. And he only got one thing wrong, but he got zero points. That, to me, is a little bit of a problem with categorization. I wish there were a way to do proportional, like the number of wrong per the number of answers, but there's not. However, you can do that when you grade the quiz if the uh, items need grading. And if I were going to include a categorization quiz, I'd probably go back and grade it to see how close it was. I uh, got all these right. Got the one for one points. Oh, no, this was wrong. It should have been mimosa tree. Oh, I got all of these right. I got all 10 points. Uh, essay question, you have to grade it. So you'll see there that it's waiting for grade because the professor has to do that. Ah, it did not take planes. You misspelled it, silly man. Oh, there is the swale in this picture. Correct. And it shows me all of the correct swale. Oh, I got it wrong. I answered pear tree, and that's wrong. I answered wolfberry, and that was right. But I did not answer P, and that was another right question. Okay, so there we are. That's what the student sees after they complete it. I'm going to leave the student view. And now I need to grade that quiz. And this is another place where it gets a little, little confusing. Um, I can go to assignments, find that quiz. And if I click on it, I think I get the option of there, from there, of going to speed grader. Nope. Okay. So you have to do it at grades. So when you're grading, you got to go to grades. I'm going to look for that. Demo quiz, new quiz demo, there it is. All right, so the test student is there. Now it's given me a grade, but I know that there are more grading, grading there is more grading to do because I had an essay question in it. So I'm gonna click this arrow and jump out to speed grader. It's gonna show me the responses. And I'm gonna look at this and go, ah, oh, he only got one wrong. You know, instead of zero points, I'm gonna give him eight points. A nitrogen fixer, yay, 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 got all that right. Yeah, that's just wrong. You get no points. Good on you. Here's the essay question, and that's a fantastic answer. I can give all the points. I can give a few of the points. Um, it just, you have to go in and read it and grade it and give the points. You can give feedback on a question by clicking this comment box. Fantastic essay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give more than two and a half points because it was close, and I'll say you misspelled <laughs> planes. M I S. S P E L L E D. Yes, that's correct. Right. That's why I'm okay. Anyway, um, and then these are just wrong. So those are okay. So now when I click, well, he did get one of them right. I'll go ahead and give two and a half points for that one. When I click update the grade here will change to reflect those changes that I made there. And it should eventually populate there. Okay. There we go. So out of 100, it's 79.41 points now. So sometimes it takes it a moment. Okay. Oh, 
a long video, I know, but I wanted to show you uh, most of the question types. Again, your best bet is to use the Canvas guides for specific help with those questions. And if you have any questions about setting up a quiz, like time limits, number of attempts, um, let me know and we'll work through it together. All right. Thank you so much. See you soon.